guys, I, I don't I don't know how to describe to you how cold it is. Other than that, I am layering up. It is cold out here. It also might just be because it's morning and uh, so my blood hasn't been circulating. But oh my gosh, it is freezing. I'm still waiting for Sean to wake up. He's uh, taking a sweet time. He's probably in there cold too. Maybe he froze to death. I don't know. It's pretty cold either way. But today it's a big day because today we're gonna go on a hiking trip if it gets any warmer. Cause, oh my gosh, it is freezing. So it has warmed up a lot since I was talking to you guys. The sun came out a little bit more. It's only been maybe 30 minutes. Sean finally woke up and uh, he decided that it's so nice outside that he would just take a dip in the river. Having fun? It's too cold. Really? <laughs> he was gonna go for a full swim. <laughs> When I made coffee in the percolator yesterday, it, uh, it it was pretty good, but it tasted like it definitely needed a different kind of uh, ground to cook it right. Sean has some coffee that he uses for pour over, so it should be a little bit more coarse. I have no idea what happened, but it like boiled the grounds up to the top filter. It and A percolator's got like this little case that's a filter. It's supposed to spit the water up, filter through, and go down, but it spit the grounds like up through the filter. I don't even know how that happened, so that was really weird, and uh, I don't know how it tastes. It's okay. I'll have to play with it a little bit more. I have no idea what happened. We might need a different ground, like a more coarse. Maybe it's supposed to be more fine. I have no idea. I'm very confused. Is yours kind of bland? Yeah, I feel like it could be stronger. I think it lost a lot of ground somehow. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I'll usually put it in there and mash it all up. For the pancake. Oh, do you want that bacon too? Sure. It's in my ice chest if you want to grab it. Sean and I like mixed our pancake techniques and made these unique pancakes. So it's half my concept and half his. You put the peanut butter inside, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he actually cooks peanut butter into the pancake batter. It's a really cool thing about being by the river. You can wash dishes. So the other day, Sean and I drove past this canyon and uh, we thought we saw a hiking trail down there, but we weren't sure. Turns out there is a hiking trail just right off the side of the road and uh, I really want to check it out. So we're heading up that way. We're kind of crossing our fingers. We're hoping that we'll have enough reception to kind of check our messages and everything, but we don't know.
So I'm trying to show off on my video. <laughs> I saw that piece of charcoal right there and I thought that was your camera, like I hit it. <laughs> oh. For a second I didn't see my camera and it scared me too. <laughs> I really want to get like a cool camping bag um, for hiking and stuff. I want like a rucksack, like a, I want a leather and, um, what's the other thing called? A leather and suede, I think it's what it's called rucksack but I can't find one at least in my price range I'm trying to find a company who's willing to sponsor me one but uh, for now this is the backpack my dad gave me a long time ago for Christmas there's a couple things I really don't like about it there's like way too many pockets this would be like the coolest backpack if I was like going to college but I'm not so I'm faster than the wind when you're at the door Guys, check this view out. It's Colorado. Look at that. Some bird up there. I don't know where it's coming from. Look at this view. 
think Brody might have found a cave or something. There's a beaver over there. That might be what we hear squeaking. Justin Bieber. Oh my gosh. Justin Bieber in real life. It's Justin Bieber. I am now a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer now. Oh wow. We already found us a cave. A little knife ice. Or ice knife. Ice knife. It's a weapon. Oh wow. Oh wow, it's all ice. Yeah. We just ran into a couple of other people who are out here hiking and uh, they said there's an ice cave on the other trail up there. So, uh, oh wow, and there's a bunch of writing on this wall. Get the gist. This is like everything I love about traveling, going on hikes and stuff. <laughs> oh, does he have his leash on? Yeah, I just keep the fucking bag. Oh. Whatever you pull out real quick. <laughs> well, kind of pull itself out. I love the trees and rocks and everything else. How with me, Brody? Ready? Oh! Brody! Brody! Come on, how with me? We're gonna start a howl. Brody! Brody, we're gonna we're gonna get all our wolf friends out. out. We're out here in Colorado. I don't know. Are there wolves in Colorado? Who? Wolves? Yeah. I feel like there are. We have to summon them. Are you scared of heights, Sean? Yeah. Oh, how's this cliff going oh, for you? Bad. That is not bad. Kind of a narrow path with a knife. Yeah. We were just talking with some, uh, I don't know if they're locals or just visit often, and they were saying that you can actually camp out here. <sighs> Thinking maybe one day come back up here or something like this. I want to go on a backpacking trip. I just need to get the right backpack, pack my stuff, head out in here, get out, you get this view. It's awesome. Jump down for it, right? Yeah, it would be. That'd be sweet. like a meadow out here. It's big and open. The river's just right over there. It's really nice out here. Firewood. <laughs> firewood. That's actually really good looking firewood. Yeah. Drop the ground. Probably we deep in here and fix them up. <laughs> we can find a way over. Yeah. They could get down that. <laughs> Brody's chasing birds over here. <laughs> Scratch for a bear right there. Just <laughs> rub up against there. Like that horse. That horse was huge. That's the biggest horse I've ever seen. It's nature's weed. Oh yeah. The kid.
kids nowadays, they'd be snorting crystal meth. We got ourselves some good old pine needles. Ah, uh, it's a way to get stoned. Looks like Sean's got a little bit of a fire going. Cool. We came back from the hike and uh, my body was just like, who do you think you are? Freaking Rambo? Go to sleep now. So, mm, I slept. Sean woke me up uh, a while ago and showed me he got some fish. I don't know how many more he got. I have no idea what time it is, but from looking outside, I'd say I slept for at least two hours. Uh, I feel cross-eyed. My head's hurt the last couple of days. I've been really congested. Um, actually, pretty much ever since I got here. When we were out hiking, Sean was like, we should collect some of these pine needles and make a, a tea out of it. And I was like, you can do that? And he's like, yeah, I've had it before. It's like kind of like a green tea. And uh, since pine needles smell so good, I was totally down. So Sean's getting the fire going and he's going to cook the fish he caught. Uh, are you making like a rack out of the... Or yeah, was that not working? Top. I feel like the pit's not deep enough for that. It'll work out. Hi. Yeah, when the coals go down a little bit, it'll be elevated. I'll put the pole. That's pretty easy. <laughs> a lot better than the other piece. Sean's filleting fish, but I really want to try this magical natural tea, the green tea of the wilderness. Looks like water. It has a little bit of a green hue. It's all right. I had a little sugar to mine. I introduced Sean recently to this is a tur turbinado, I think is how you pronounce it. I usually buy it in the sugar in the raw, that's usually what I called it. It turns out it has an actual name. This is like the only stuff I put in my coffee, so I do use sugar, but I use specifically this like natural cane sugar kind of stuff, and it is really good. So now Sean's been doing that. It's very different from white sugar. It's more of like a honey sweet taste. The wind's picking up. That's not good actually. Trying to just cooking, cooking fish like a mountain man. It's smoked out. And you should have posted that. That would have been a cool picture. What? On the wood. Yeah, I'm gonna get another one. 
Yeah. Once it's all on there. It's getting dark though. Won't be able to film much longer. Using your spider Co. Ninja Master. Para 3. Para 3. Yeah. He's Knife of Legends. Us dang Gen Z's with our technology and stuff. Sean and I decided that we're actually going to head into town tomorrow. Um, we're pretty tired after that hike. Uh, we, we, I kind of want to go on another hike, but then again, I feel like it's better if we replenish, um, check our phones, see if, you know, catch up with family and friends, see what's going on. We've had no reception for at least 48 hours now, so probably a good idea to catch up a little bit and see what everyone else is doing. Um, we're going to go there, we're going to edit videos, try to get catch up a little. I'm going to see if I can get an upload out, but if not, I'll just update everyone, tell them what's going on. And uh, sun's going down, kind of running out of stuff to do. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna come over here and finish my tea and stuff. I'm faster than the wind.